bye week was very nice, but we'll tell you this, we it feels this. right. We miss this, you miss this, I miss this. We're glad to be back. We're glad to be back. And you know what? The bye came at a perfect time. We took Arthur Smith's advice. We did the reset, much needed, but also, that little break allows you some time to reflect on those first 10 weeks. Absolutely. We did that in this segment. The best play from each of the first 10 weeks. Start us off, baby. Well, we got to go week one, the obvious one. Bijan Robinson, the first round pick, scores in the first game, hits the juke move, Give breaks me. defenders, and he gets the touchdown. Six points for number seven, making that number seven great again in the city of Atlanta. Seven gets a lot of six. We've seen that time and time again this season. Let's go to week two, and one of the big talking points from the first game was Drake London. Where was he? Had one target, didn't have a catch. They get to get him involved. Right here before the end of the half, trailing Desmond Ritter. Ask and you shall throw Throwing across his body, big time. Drake's first touchdown of the season. That sparked the comeback, largest one of the season, off to that 2-0 start. It was a great start, nonetheless. Things got a little hairy the next week against the Detroit Lions. You could argue Harry's this is a the one that, game yeah. that they weren't in this season. Yep. Defense kept making plays, though, specifically Jesse Bates, the third with his third interception of the season, very fittingly. He's been a quarterback of that secondary and has done so great this season. We go then across the pond. This is another game to forget, but probably the biggest gut check moment. Desmond Ritter back-to-back -back picks. Jags have it inside the 10, and David Onyemata, the big fourth down sack to get that team off the field. This was a pride moment. Even though the game didn't go the way they wanted, you saw this defense was always going to fight. Big play in that one. Yeah, like I said, teams keeping it, yep. like keeping the offense in the game no matter what. The very next week, you're going to notice a little bit of a theme here. Bijan Robinson, the oh, last yes. play. He does it again. Check out the replay on this, though, because you really can't appreciate it until you see him get the <laughs> ball on his hip, not even looking at it. He scores again. This is why Bijan John is so, so special, Luke. Week six, we're going to stay in that building. We're going to open up the history books. Calais Campbell, his 100th sack. Sam Howell, the 51st quarterback he takes out. Wait Not only it. is it this, it's that too. <laughs> Little dirty bird from CC. Love that moment. That's why it is the best play from week six. Yeah, he looked great doing it. On to week seven. This one was a big one because it was a game-winning drive. Desmond Ritter, not a great game. He finds Kyle Pitts. Still a little bit gimpy nonetheless, but he makes the play, gets out of bounds, sets up the game-winning kick from Young Way Koo because you know Young Way is going to hit the game winner. This is a big thing for you, talking about 2021 Kyle Pitts. It, it really is. But then we go to week eight. Obviously the most tumultuous week of this season. Grady Jarrett goes down for the rest of the season with that torn ACL. Desmond Ritter benched at half. Taylor Heineke comes in, has a spectacular second half, the best throw to Scotty Miller. This is where that conversation started. Should he be the guy? It was a fun couple weeks. Obviously, we know how things shifted, but it showed if you need a quarterback to come in an emergency situation, you got one. Yeah, quick note on this play, too. Scotty Miller said this play hadn't worked all season in practice yet. It worked when it counted most in the yeah. game. On to the next week. We've been talking about tight ends. I talked about Kyle Pitts that last play. If this was a long play from a tight end. You would assume it would be Kyle Pitts. Sure. Guess what? Guess again. It's Johnny Smith. Scores and wait for it. Whoop. It's okay. He scores the touchdown. Great celebration there from number 81. We go right before the bye week in Arizona. Finish to forget, but this play you got to remember. Nate Landman has earned his flowers here. Played fantastic. Since coming in for Troy Anderson in week three, he's led the team in tackle since that point. Had a sack in this game, the interception, set up a field goal. He's a guy we got to spotlight. I know there are several other plays we can go with in this one. Too you can long. debate us, it's fine. We like having open discussion. Anything you want to add? None for me. All right, and so, oh, no, we're not going to say it. Guys, how do we sign out? You do it at the desk. Fellas, it's all you. Take it to yourself before you. Wreck. Yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs>